Order, order. Top 5 unknowns is now in session. Some of these lawsuits are just plain stupid. Once you've heard them all, let me know which one you thought was the most dumbest in the comments below. Number 5. Judge sues for missing trousers. In 2005, a judge by the name of Roy L. Pearson took his suit pants to a dry cleaners in Washington DC by the name of Custom Cleaners. The cleaners accidentally lost the pants. The judge got so angry that he decided to sue them. Roy demanded 67 million. He then dropped it to 54 million. He asked for $1,000 for the pants and 53,999,000 for court fees and mental distress. On the first day of the court hearing, Roy broke down and began to cry. He then began to describe how frustrated he felt on the day that he found out his pants went missing. Three months later, the court ruled in favor of the dry cleaners. So then, Roy decided to sue the city of Washington DC. The stupidest part of it is that the dry cleaners found his pants two days after they lost them, but Roy refused to take them back. Number four, student sues because of bad grades. A student of the Lehigh University in Pennsylvania by the name of Megan sued the university because she received a C plus. She started attending the university in 2009. She attended tuition free because her father was a professor there. She claims that her future career was ruined after she received a C plus as she needed a B to take the next course. She was in her second and final year of a master's in counseling and human services. She needed to complete the next course to be able to apply for a job that she wanted. Because the university only gave her a C plus, she sued them for $1.3 million. She now works as a drug and alcohol counselor. She believes that there was a conspiracy and that the university purposely gave her a C, but the professors say that the poor grade was due to her unprofessional behavior that included swearing in class. Number three, Robert sues 90 year old man for shooting him. On January 3rd, 2012, a man called Samuel broke into a 90 year old man's house by the name of Jay. Samuel entered Jay's home, placed a gun to his head and then tied him up. He then went to search the house looking for anything he could steal. Jay managed to convince Samuel that he needed to use the bathroom as he had defecated. He told him that he had no control over his bowels. Samuel then let him free. The 90 year old man then managed to grab one of his handguns. Samuel shot first, hitting the 90 year old in the jaw. Jay then said, now it's my turn, and shot Samuel three times in the abdomen. Samuel then ran out of the house and the police found him shortly after. Samuel then filed a lawsuit against the 90 year old man. He claimed that the injuries led to his financial ruin, the loss of his home and led to his wife divorcing him. In court, Samuel's attorney claimed that the entire event was a drug deal gone bad. He described Samuel as a meth addict and said that he could have been in the house to buy drugs. But in the end, Samuel was tried with two counts of murder against Jay. Number two, man sues his hostages for calling the police. In September 2009, a man called Jesse was a murder suspect who was on the run. He was in a high speed chase with the police. The police then rolled out spikes. He continued with the chase, but had flat tires. Shortly after, he crashed near the house of a couple called Jared and Lindsay. He got out of the car and ran to their house knocked on their door and then pulled out a knife, forced his way into their home and took them hostage. Jesse made himself comfortable and grabbed himself some Cheetos and Dr. Pepper. He then sat down with the couple and began to watch Patch Adams. He made the couple promise him that they would not call the police once he leaves. Shortly after, Jesse fell asleep on their couch. The couple then left the house and called the police. A SWAT team then entered the house and arrested him. During the struggle, Jesse accidentally got shot in the back after an officer's gun discharged. The couple sued Jesse for 75,000 for damages, but Jesse responded by countersuing them. He sued them for 235,000, claiming that the couple broke an oral agreement that they would not call the police. Jesse acted as his own lawyer in court and backed himself by claiming that a verbal agreement being broken was an eligible enough reason for him to sue. The case was dismissed, but Jesse once again tried to sue, but this time 
he sued the police department that arrested him. He tried to sue them for 435,000, claiming that the gunshot wound that was inflicted on him caused digestive problems, depression, and suicidal thoughts. He lost both cases and ended up pleading guilty for two counts of kidnapping and was sentenced to 11 years in prison. Number one, man sues because of a cat attack. In 2011, a man called William Baxter was looking after a friend's cat. He tried to feed the cat and claim it viciously attacked him. He said the cat scratched his arms and bit his finger. In response to this, he decided to sue the cat owner. He tried to sue the owner for 100,000, 50,000 for the scratch on his arm and 50,000 for the cut on his finger. During the lawsuit, William claimed that he is suffering because of the injuries and will continue to suffer in the future. He said that the attack was unprovoked and claimed that he should have been warned about the cat because it attacked someone in the past. The hearing was on July 10th and there was no follow up so it is unknown whether he won or lost. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with our videos, goodbye.